الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين خاتم النبيين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وطبيب نفوسنا أبي القاسم مصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيت scholars, my dearest elders, my fellow sisters and brothers in Islam and in humanity. Assalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. I send my condolences to each and every one of you, to our living Imam, Imam al-Mahdi sahib al-Asri wa zaman. For not only, this was it seven years ago, was in Samarra our golden domes destructed, but this torture and persecution has continued, accelerated to today, whereby we have just seen, as the brother just mentioned, another attack in Pakistan, and another attack, but this time on heaven, on earth, in Bain al Haramain, where we looked at Abbas and Hussein, and by God, from this gathering here, and by everyone across the world who is so upset and angry by each of these actions that take place against the Shi'i that we will rise up and we will never stop saying La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah and Aliyun Waliyullah Salli ala Muhammad I have a short poem here um, mentioning and talking roughly about the events in Pakistan, the torture that our brothers and sisters all over the world go through. Um, so please send your minds to all these places across the world and inshallah we can connect. Salla Muhammad wa Muhammad. This genocide in Pakistan, we must start to analyze, to sift through and eradicate all the false and all the lies to accomplish this it's now time to open wide our eyes for on this issue we'll never even contemplate to compromise rather we will continue to stand up be heard and rise just as these skies when they hear of an innocent demise drop blood as opposed to tears when it starts and cries the suicide bombers think that they are shaheed and that Jannah is their prize. Little do they know that they bestow upon us shahada and that Jannah is our prize. Their irreversible move is horrendously unwise. How long will it take for them to even realize maybe they need to look through some real eyes? Under the banner of Islam, they try to disguise. Under the banner of Islam, they try to disguise those who love the Ahl al-Bayt. They completely despise, and each murder they commit, our love for the five will continue to rise. Each arm they sever is replaced by a wing which in paradise flies. Maybe their tactics and philosophy they should start to revise. For the Ahl al-Bayt, for the Ahl al-Bayt, we're drenched in our love. And this love never dries, it drips onto the next person and permanently applies itself onto their heart. And that love increases in size and this love never runs out, it's unlimited in its supplies. We the Shias have dealt with thousands against us and we'll deal with it again. There's no change in our bravery from Ashura to today, it doesn't matter when. To the Ahl al-Bayt, the five we love, we will continue to send our salutations, our blessings, our thanks, and it will never end. When will you accept the evidence in your own books? The truth you continue to bend. Watch how when you're in Barzakh, the Ahl al-Bayt you wish would descend into your graves, you wish their hands they would extend, but why should they, when you always did intend to make their lovers be oppressed and constantly offend? You'll regret your actions. This is my message to these guys that think they know what they're doing. By God, we all know that they're going to one place and one place only. 
You'll regret your actions. <coughs> that moment your soul departs. You'll realize that the perfect 14, to Allah, they never apart. And then you'll realize why we had Masumin instilled within our hearts. And with that, I leave you and I pray for inshallah our Imam will come and create justice all over this earth. And may Allah decide what he wishes to do with these men and women who decide to oppress against the Shi'i. And like I said, we'll never stop holding these gatherings. We'll never stop letting our voices be heard. My condolences to you all. Wassalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.